Welcome everybody. It has been months since I have done these and uh, I am back with a brand new interview and this time I have another interviewer that has been on the scene for a year now, I no, believe. No, I haven't. No. Oh. Six months only. Barely six months. Six months. Barely six months. For some reason. I started just... in November of like November 14th, 2011. Hey, for some reason, it just seemed like you've been doing these longer than I thought. I, I uploaded them really quickly at first when I started. I, I'd upload like one every week, and then they started slowing. Mm-hmm. All right. For those that uh, don't know the voice, this is Matt Rocks 101. Hi. <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. No, no. You don't need to be such an idiot for doing this. So, anyways, uh, how you been? I have been really good, actually. I, um... I've been really slow on my interviews lately, but other than that, I've been I've been doing really good. I've just been kind of mad at myself for taking so long to edit interviews. Nah, nobody should feel angry about you know being slow on anything. We just do this to have fun. How you been aside from just interview stuff? Um, I'm I'm approaching my one year anniversary of uh, doing Bacchano to Bridge series, and um, other than that, my 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 videos have been doing really good actually. Uh, and just inter- mumbled it off at the end. I just, uh, so, so my interviews, <laughs> I'm going to make an offer you can't refuse. For a brief introduction, just tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm uh, Matt Rocks 101, uh, or 101, or Matt Trox, depending on if you're British or not. Uh, I, I've just been doing um, a bridging... I'm, Doing a bridging. <laughs> yes, I have been doing a bridging. Uh, I've been I bridged uh, ba- a bridge. I bridge Bacano. Uh, I do Bacano Ted Bridge series, Electric Anime Batman, which is just darker than black abridged, except I didn't say darker than black abridged. <laughs> and um, I do the other abridged interviews, the ones no one watches. <laughs> the Matt Rocks 101 abridged interviews because my name is awesome and I shall put it everywhere. And um, I've I've been a into a bridging for a little over a year. I got into a bridging like in November of 2010, so maybe it's a bit more than a little over a year, but not that much. I started a bridging in uh, April of 2011, but the very first project I did was so bad, no one's ever seen it, and I'm so happy for that. Yeah, that's pretty much there all is about me. I'm not that interesting, so. I'm sure there's people that find you interesting from this. Since you're talking about abridged interviews, uh, what was your main reason for wanting to like interview anybody? Well, don't get mad at me for this, but it was because of you, Chicken. <laughs> oh, boy. It was because you I, – I remember I was a big fan of your interviews, except your videos never loaded on me. It was you, Everyone else's videos loaded but yours. Uh, yeah, and, I, I got that a lot from everybody. but uh, And so the ones I did see, I said, he's awesome, but I don't know, like – he doesn't upload enough interviews, and there's all these people I really want to see interviewed. Like, I really want to see these people get interviewed because I think their stuff is awesome. I don't think he's ever going to interview them, and I've always been interested in radio. Uh, and So I said, you know what? People would probably love to have an interview, and this would be a great way for me to um, get my voice trained for going into radio. So I will start uh, interviewing abridgers because Chicken Wings hasn't been doing it for a while. <laughs> And I, I was really scared because I was afraid that you would be mad at me for doing it. No, no. I, I don't hate anybody in particular. It's I, just, I was afraid. I, I didn't know anything about, like, the British community interviews other than you did them. So I was afraid that someone would get mad at me for stealing their job. So I was always really low-key about them. Like, I never told anyone I was doing them. Like, the only way you'd find them is if you had to manually search them. Now, that's the one thing, uh, a funny story about that. Like, when I was wanting to do interviews... The whole thing with, like, uh, I would be afraid if Nathan was going to get pissed with me for doing his job, but he didn't actually, so nobody should really be mad at anyone for you doing these type of things. (laughs) Well, that that was back in November. I I had already been abridging for a while, but I realized that my abridge series wasn't very good, and I should take up something else, too, alongside it. Well, if if anything, you've motivated me to actually start doing these again. (laughs) <laughs> so my hat goes off to you, our wing feather. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on to the next question. Um, when uh, you first started doing the interviews, uh, did you ever think that it, it would actually go over well as you thought? I I don't really know what I was thinking when I did them. I was like, 
this can't be that hard to do. I'll just do them, and if it turns out good, that's great. If not, well, I'll stop doing them. It's like, like it's not like anyone knows I do them anyway. And it it just turned out like to be a lot better than I was ever expecting because all these people are like, oh my gosh, Matt, you're awesome at doing interviews. You should keep it up. Like uh, like Kieran, all the all the living the dream people and the box of danger people were like, you you do really good interviews. You should keep doing them. So I was like, whoa, you guys actually watch that? I'm scared now. <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing you do got to understand is that no matter where they are, you do actually have people that will watch your videos. I, I was I was really nervous. I was like, oh, my gosh, people watched. <laughs> I don't know what to say now. <laughs> and they liked it, too. So I just I just kept going. But I, yeah. I, don't, I don't really know what I was thinking when I started other than that chicken wasn't interviewing people and I wanted to interview. people. <laughs> that was really the only thing that was crossing through my mind. Yeah, you seem like you're very easygoing, actually. Yeah, I, I don't worry a lot about stuff. And that's kind of a lie because I do, but I try not to worry about <laughs> stuff. I, I, I like to prefer I don't worry about stuff, even if I know that's a blatant lie. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Back to the interview stuff. Uh, who would you say was probably your favorite interviewee, and uh, what would you say would be the one that you would probably go back to maybe redo again? Oh, my favorite one. That is really tough because I've done a lot and I've had a lot of friends. Probably, uh, I've, I've, I've learned so much from this, but one of the ones I go back and watch all the time and I laugh at is the one with anime lawyers. That was like one of my funniest <laughs> interviews and it was just them. They, they were hilarious. Uh, Tony and Quiz Guru were hilarious in that interview. And I go back and I watch that all the time to laugh. Um, if one I was going to redo, Ever, I, I would say the Reborn Zombie one, but it would probably be like either Dr. McCowan or another one that went on really long because – and those, I'm so mad at myself. I, I I hope they don't ever get mad at me for saying this. But during those, I started like drifting off, and I'd lose interest in what I was doing. And then for the Mercow one, my parents called me, and I actually left the interview to go see what my parents wanted. And I came back, and <laughs> he was still talking, <laughs> and I was like, oh, gosh. And then, then he was he was like wondering what happened to me, and I had to edit all that out. I felt terrible though. Oh. So I would probably go back and redo those and actually pay attention to what was happening. <laughs> um, don't get mad at me, Mirkal. I think you're an awesome person. <laughs> yeah, if they are listening to this, what else would you probably say to them right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd say I'm sorry, Arca. That or not Arca. I'm sorry. I'd say I'm sorry, Runaway Tourist, that we had to reschedule about three times. And the same with Mircal. I'm sorry about all the rescheduling. Sorry we couldn't get this worked out. And I'm sorry for all those people I forgot about. If you could uh, give any advice to any abridgers that are just now getting their start, what would you say to them? Oh, man, that's a, that's a really tough question. I'd say don't let the critics keep you down because if you go around and you post your videos everywhere, you're probably going to get a lot of people – Critiquing, critiquing, crit, 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 critiquing, 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 <laughs> that word, um, don't let them keep you down. Um, if they offer good advice, take it, but like, don't ever, don't sweat it too much. I mean, critiquing is good and all, but if you're really worried about your videos and stuff, you, you're taking it too seriously. Uh, just just don't worry too much about what other people think about your stuff. As long as you're having fun and you're uploading stuff, that's that's the big thing, as long as you're having fun, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Video games that you are currently playing. Um, a lot of games from 2010 because I remember, uh, in 2010 I had a really good year. I pulled, bought a bunch of video games and I sold them all. And I'm like, man, I want those games back. So recently I've been going back to the stores and searching high and low for games like Just Cause 2, Skate 3, uh, all sorts of my favorites from 2010. And they don't seem to have them anywhere. So I'm really kind of buggered. But other than that, um, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty World at War. But in general, these days, I don't play a lot of video games like I used to because I'm so busy working on videos. I, it's like it's like a job to me. I feel I must make videos so I don't actually play games as much. That's one but, thing you got to at least try to not do as much as worry that this is like a job. And I, I, I just I, – I always get – I've – I have a very obsessive personality, apparently. Like, I have to do these videos. I feel like I have to, even though no one's making me. It's like I'm making myself. So I haven't played as many video games. Uh, I just recently bought Skate 2 from 09. Great game. I've been playing that a lot. And uh, other than that, I haven't really been playing any games. 